plaintiff, Omercia Morris, says after she moved in across the street from the defendant, he started flirting with her, despite the fact that she's half his age. Amercia was never interested in dating the defendant, and she's suing him for a loan. Defendant Rasul Abdullah says Amercia is extremely violent, and she once told Rasul that she stabbed her boyfriend. Rasul is countersuing for harassment. Start with you. About three years ago, I moved across the street from him. So you all know each other as neighbors. He introduced himself to me. Mm -hmm. um, we started talking, we got acquainted. I realized we had some mutual friends and we became friends. And um, eventually he went into, started hitting on me, telling mm -hmm. me how beautiful I was. He even told me stories that I really didn't want to hear, but <laughs> he told me that a woman used to pay him $1,000 each time she had sex with him. <laughs> um, what, I don't know how true that what is. What decade was that? <laughs> That's what I said, and I don't even know why he Did even... he give you the decade? <laughs> no, I didn't ask. I didn't want to know. Okay. I don't care. Okay. And I know he got at least 10 kids. I know for sure he got 10. He, um, I heard he got maybe 25 or 30. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I don't know why he thought that I would be interested in him considering I'm half his age, but as time, as time went by, it was a lot of different women coming in his out of his house. Most of them were he younger than me. Should be rich. Why do you? <laughs> Most why do of you them have were because all getting, his money goes to the girl. He getting a thousand a person. He say he gets the thousand. They, uh, all his money he spend buying but those But you all young never girls. dated? No. Okay. No. You said that very vehemently. Sometimes that means the opposite. Let me hear from him, well, sir. Your, your Honor, she stays down the street from me, mm -hmm. and um, I introduce myself to her. Um, I find out that she has been uh, very um, violent. Oh, you a liar. To who? <laughs> She's been very violent to all her former boyfriends and beating them. <laughs> oh, my and, God. And at one point, I stopped uh, the Rochester Police Department for taking her to jail because she's so violent, they were going to lock her up, and they, she didn't You give, are lying. She didn't give them a chance to... You know. How did you find all this out? She told you or you no, observed it? No, I was there. It? I was there. Each time? Yes. How many times were you there when she She, she told me violent? one time she stabbed a boyfriend. You were she told you. Yes. I never told him that. Once again, man, Ryan. you didn't say one word while you were talking. Why all because this protest? Well, you probably were lying too, so let him tell his lie, all right? <laughs> Go ahead. You think I believe everything you said? She was a neighbor up the street, and you say she was physically abusing men. And you say you were there each time, or you were yes, there- Yes, you're correct. Every uh, time. Well, two times I know that she beat up her boyfriends, and they went to jail. Okay. Mm -hmm. They did. Yeah, because she- Because it's plays, a lie. She plays the part that- All right, what else do you know? Um, she is asking for this money. Um, she never told me that I had to pay for it. All right, it. so how about all these things that she says that you did with her, trying to uh, impress her? Uh, I don't have to impress her. I, um, she's angry for whatever reason. She lives down the street. I don't know how she sees all this, but I did told her- Did you all fall out before the money issue? No, never. You never. never fell out? Never. Ma'am, did you all fall out before the money issue? No. Okay, so tell me how that came about. Uh, March 27th, I lent Russell $2,800 cash, and he agreed to pay me back. The, we verbally agreed um, August 1st. He signed a promissory note, and but he was supposed to make payment. And it was $2,800? It was $2,800. Okay, he hasn't paid anything. No, okay. he was supposed to pay. Well, that's right. You shouldn't have expected him to pay. He told you he'd get 1000 a prop. <laughs> so what made you think you were gonna get some money back? Because somebody he pay you in it's, kind, it's right? In kind services. <laughs> he he got. I let Why him would borrow you money before. Let a man borrow money who says he gets money from women. He's you one of the women he's getting money from. You didn't <laughs> you didn't I put two him, and two together. But, but I'm not having sex with him, and I let him borrow money before. And well, he I see he even a bigger bigger <laughs> loan because he don't even have to give it up, and he get it out of you. <laughs> You're one of the weak links in his chain of uh, jiggaloin. Your Honor, she never um, put any stipulations on any, any time frame of the money. Sir, she hasn't told me the details of it. You keep interrupting, you're talking about the defense. She hasn't given the offense. He, Go ahead, give me the details. He wanted money, did he tell you what it was for? To fix his car. Okay. And he's supposed to get his car fixed. He's supposed to pay it back by August 1st. 
he was supposed to give me money in between of that, in between that time. He never did. And he had, so he was have having- you the agreement there, sir? What's your defense? Um, I wasn't able to get it back to her at no, she gave me no time uh, frame to give it back. When did you think you would be paying it back? Uh, when I could get it. And you had no idea when that might have been? No idea. Okay. All right. So uh, you owe her now then because that would be interpreted as a reasonable amount of time. He also... And it's been a reasonable amount of time and you still don't know when and how you're going to pay her. So I'm going to grant her that judgment now. You know now when you're going to pay her. <laughs> Your counterclaim for harassment. How does she harass you? She comes to my house often and, and opens up my door, come in. Why do you leave your door unlocked? I always leave it Because so many okay. girls be running in and out of there. Go ahead. And um, she was my friend and my neighbor anyway. However, um, Anyway means that's all right then. So why are you complaining about it now? Well, because she came to a, a, an event I had and where I was cooking out and... Um, at the I, house? Yes, at my home. And uh, <laughs> she harassed me and then my family members had to remove her from the property. Harassed you about what? Uh, talking about, I owe you money, you need to give me my money That's now. That's collections. That's not harassment. <laughs> your, claim, your claim is dismissed. She didn't harass you. She's asking for her money. And yours is granted. He admits that he agreed to pay. He has no idea when he intended to. So he's required to pay now. Judgment for the plaintiff, 2800 Have a good day. I do apologize. I hope that I can... Um, amend my friendship with you. You've been a great friend to me, and um, I will get your your money. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't have nothing to say to that. 